Okay, so we have had a ton of questions about the teardrop camper and how we built it, what we built it out of, why we got creative, all sorts of jazz. We actually did the outside. It's wrapped in fiberglass, it gives it some texture. Uh, plus it's mold resistant and waterproof, pretty much. Drip edge so stuff doesn't go into the door, which is just... Uh, Corner molding for stairs from the hardware store. Yep. So we got a little window that opens up a little bit with this little knob inside just so we can still have ventilation inside of it uh, as well as, you know, breathing light. and whatnot, light, whatnot. And then Sarah actually took this stuff from Walmart, which is a drop cloth and then a window shade for a car and sewed it together to keep the light out so we keep that down while we drive and loiter around so we don't get the greenhouse effect on the inside and get all warm. Yep, and so the, the fiberglass is just like bathroom panels, like you'd panel a wall in, and then we just painted it with marine paint, so it's UV resistant, um, like Sean said, it's watertight. The inside is literally the size of a full-size bed. Um, it's hard to film because it is the size of a full-size bed, um, but we have lights on the wall here. They're little LEDs, they're just battery powered, so we can turn them on and off um, really easy. Um, the little caddies on the side to hold tissues or cell phones or books or whatever. Um, we are not done yet, but we're going to install some power um, plug-ins back here so we can charge phones or we actually have battery backup packs like jump packs for our car and stuff like that. You can charge that using that. We have two doors, one on each side. We got some cabinets back here, uh, his and her sides. Uh, she more or less takes both. Uh, but we got shelves in there to Shut divide up. some of the things out a little bit uh, and a neutral space in the center for larger objects and towels. Uh, also built it down a little bit lower so we can actually store shoes up top. Yeah, keep our keep our extra shoes out of the way. Usually pack a couple pairs in case somebody gets wet. And then you can go to the back. So we've got striping, makes it all the way around. That's our this is the back of the hatch. So we have a kitchen in the back. Um, this just lifts up. We just got a couple latches on each side to keep it secure. You want to do that side? I can try to do this one handed. So we have flagpole holders that actually hold the dowels and then C clamps. There we go. Okay, so here's our little kitchen space. Um, Sean has demonstrated our utensil caddy, which it detaches from the wall when we want to use it, but then it just hooks on there so it doesn't, nothing flies around when we're driving down the road. Um, we have water in here. It's in this cabinet right here underneath. Um, we've just got a tank and it hooks to this rocket pump right there, which when you rock the handle back and forth, it shoots out about a quarter cup of water um, into our sink, which is a giant stainless steel dog bowl. There's a few things in it because we used it this morning, but yes, it is a dog bowl. Paw prints. So we just pick that up, dump it out when we're done. We were looking for days to try to figure out what we could use and we settled with that. It was easier than having a drain. Um, and then, so we have that shelf there. There's LED lighting underneath the shelf and on top so we can see at night. Doesn't attract the bugs, doesn't take much power. Um, and we store dry goods and stuff up on top of the shelf. Um, our coolers, food and beverage. Um, they have a little locking bar that keep them in place while we're driving. Um, but otherwise that's, that's where we keep them, right under the counter there. And our camp stove actually has a propane bottle. There's a hose connected to a propane bottle down back in, behind the uh, counter there and it hooks to the regulator to the stove. And the stove just bungees back to the back wall when we're driving around or when we're not using it. And here's the other side. And then up front we have this box um, we store a bunch of junk in. It is topped with a solar panel, um, which charges a uh, battery, marine battery in, inside. It's gonna be hard to see. There's the battery. Um, it has a charge controller for the panel, and uh, that powers our fan inside the camper, as well as the lights, and eventually the charger um, that'll be inside the cabin. It's a pretty good sized box. If you didn't know, I can fit inside of it. Uh, which is another video we could probably post on there, but it houses our uh, chairs, the the mat that we actually put under the camper so we don't track stuff inside and outside of the camper, uh, and then all of our other stuff because we're short to get in and out of the camper, uh, and then our kayak accessories and uh, life jackets and such. Yep, so that's about it. There, there it is. There lies our teardrop camper. Um, it was our summer project for this year, and 
We have used it once with all the doors working. We've used it twice with the doors not working all the way, but mine worked. We really like it. So hope you guys enjoyed our little video.